सो रिसेंटली कॉफी बीन्स एक कैफे है वहाँ पे एक औरत बैठी हुई थी ऑल ऑफ ए सडन शी अपीर टू बी इन हर थर्टीज और ऑल ऑफ ए सडन वाइल्ड शी वॉज सिटिंग अलोन ओवर देयर उसने डिसाइड किया कि बाहर उसने खिड़की देखी और उसे एकदम छलांग मार दी एंड दे लीक दिस सी सी टी वी um and uh, she was to- taken to national hospital um but i don't know whether she survived or not but amongst the reasons jo ho sakti hain could nihilism be one of them this is a question that i would like to throw to both of you uh, starting from uh, brother imran so could nihilism be one of them yeah पॉसिबली जो सुसाइड हमारी सोसाइटी में हो रही है आजकल इन पर्टिकुलर पाकिस्तान में जिस तरह बहुत ज़्यादा होगी इस नाइल इज वन ऑफ दम अच्छा सो फर्स्ट थिंग आई थिंक इज इम्पोर्ट टू क्लैरिफाई दैट पीपल कैन कमिट सुसाइड फॉर मेनी रीजन्स इट कैड बी मेंटल हेल्थ इशूज अदर प्रॉब्लम इन लाइफ बिकॉज समाइम सफरिंग इज अनदर बिग थिंग यू नो प्रॉब्लम फॉर मॉडर्न सोसाइटी आजकल के लोगों के लिए जस्ट कंटेक्शुअलाइजिंग सफरिंग बहुत मुश्किल है कि इसको कैसे समझें Uh, so that's one thing the second thing nihilism definitely can be a cause kyunki nihilism kya karta hai zindagi ka jo maqsad hai wo cheen leta hai aapse and that is a very big problem do you want to give a definition of nihilism, nihilism well? yeah, so, before we carry so, on so for the general audience uh, there are some concepts jo waise aate jaate hain lekin uske consequences hame nazar aa rahe hote hain mm. but we don't know the root word or what the phenomena is so what is this phenomenon of nihilism so the simple tarike mein agar main batau na yeah. it's meaninglessness mm-hmm. so not having meaning nihilism agar philosophically study karenge uske kafi categories hai uh, uh, moral nihilism hai existential nihilism hai etc etc lekin jo general theme hai na wo hai ki that it's the lack of meaning yeah and that we see prevalent in today's society mm. and one of the main the fundamental reasons is is because people have turned away from god Uh, and we could probably discuss this but i don't want to go on too much mm-hmm. right now inshallah but that's one of the main things is turning away from god removes meaning from a person's life oh, what are your two cents dr salman yeah i mean obviously i echo the same um disclaimer we can't make a we shouldn't comment on a specific case but um <sighs> meaninglessness is a good um is a good way to describe it i think okay, so if, if, if we have if to we're not, if yeah. not just like um Like, uh, if there's no meaning attached to life human beings relationships then anything can just be described as just a you know it's just matter it's just a matter doesn't matter it's just molecules it's changing from one state to another everyone's everything everyone and everything is going from you know a state of you know hello entropy to high entropy and as uh, the, the universe is just heading slowly towards you know um uh death and 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 stillness and nothingness but i don't think anyone from the perspective i think this is a learned and acquired uh way to look at things because even naturally even somebody claims to be an atheist mm. naturally they're not going to describe you know somebody killing someone as the same as just moving something from here to here just or or cutting an apple in half they then automatically from their fitra they will ascribe some significance right yeah. to to human beings to certain things and but as hamza and and brother mashallah the, the brothers at sapiens and ayra they they've always said is you know if you actually probe them philosophically you, they the, you get to a uh uh like a dead end where they have to when their backs against the wall they have to admit that if they remove god from the equation then killing someone is the same as you know how much is picking your nose at the day, dinner table <laughs> yeah it's kind of acquired tastes and norms and so forth and that's you know we we want to be careful not to push people to that point as well by highlighting that this is a logical consequence the pre slope you don't want to push people away to become more and more nihilistic mm. there's there has to be some kind of you know come to a common ground you you naturally agree that there's some inherent you know that there's some inherent value in life for example you know and maybe come to a common common 
um, agreement and then build something on top of that. Right. So, agar me if in particularly I see a Pakistani society because mm-hmm. mashallah, um, I mean I'm very proud. Uh, both of you are Pakistanis, right? Originally, okay. So this is very important. Uh, living in the West and seeing the Western society and uh, the kind of generation that 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 you see right now, or the nihilism ke wahan pe concepts hain, and predominantly in the Pakistani society because you have been visiting universities, lectures, and you interact with people on social media, stuff like that. What is the most prevalent? Uh, ya, कि कौन सा नाइलिज्म और विच फॉर्म ऑफ नाइलिज्म इज मोस्ट प्रिवेलिंग इन आवर सोसाइटी इन कॉन्टेक्स टू पाकिस्तान बिकॉज एज यू राइटली मैंशन अबाउट मॉरल नाइलिज्म विच विच एक्चुअली मीन जस्ट करेक्ट मे इफ आई एम रॉन्ग दैट मॉरलिटीज नो पर्पज और दे आर दे आर नो मॉरल वैल्यूज और पर एग्जिस्टेंशियल नाइलिज्म के मेरी जिंदगी का तो कोई मीनिंग ही नहीं है and then i would also like to say ke a lot of the youngsters out there who ye kehte hain ke we have to assign our self a purpose of life mm. why are you even looking for a purpose of life yeah. why do you even say that you know we need a purpose of life mm. why can't we just assign ourselves the purpose of life yeah. well, how how would you address these two things so the first part of the question was the difference you are seeing in the west and in pakistan okay so uh, just before that i think it's important to add that meaning is central to human existence because without meaning everything falls apart so f- whatever we do from waking up in the morning subah uthte hain naashta karte hain uska maqsad hota hai kaam pe jaate hain uska maqsad hota hai ghar aate hain uska maqsad hota hai sote hain uska maqsad hota hai jab science karte hain uske cheezon ke piche hum meaning dhoondte hain iska 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 meaning kya hai aise kyun hai to hamara filter hai as human beings we see things through the lens of meaning so जहाँ तक हमारी बात आती है कि व्हाट्स माय पर्पस मेरा मकसद क्या है ये भी एक सेंट्रल क्वेश्चन है अगर इसका जवाब नहीं होगा तो यू इन ट्रबल राइट ना कुछ लोग हैं दे कैन जैसे कहते हैं ना ब्रश अंडर द कॉपे साइकोलॉजिकली वो थोड़े कर सकते हैं ऐसे और एंड दे गेन विद द लाइफ कुछ दूसरी पर्सनैलिटी टाइप्स होती हैं जो ये नहीं कर सकते एंड दैट बिकम्स अ प्रेसिंग थिंग ऑन द माइंड एंड देन लीड्स टू जो फिलोसफर कहते हैं एक्जिस्टेंशियल एंगस्ट ठीक है एक एंगजाइटी और डिप्रेशन जो एग्जिस्टेंशियल होता है तो ये मैंने पहले कवर करना जहाँ तक आपका क्वेश्चन है ना कि यू के वेस्टर्न नाइलिज्म और पाकिस्तानी नाइलिज्म में डिफरेंस वेस्टर्न नाइलिज्म काफ़ी सिंपल है इट्स अक्रॉस द बोर्ड हर लिहाज से वेदर इट्स मोरलिटी और इट्स मीनिंग दे आर स्ट्रगलिंग दोज आई थिंक अबाउट दीज थिंग्स एट लीस्ट यू नो इफ यू लुक एट द कैटेगरी दैट ब्रश इज अंडर द कॉप है they find ways of getting around and getting on with life uh lekin because they denied god you know especially after the enlightenment the renaissance and then the enlightenment this whole movement away from spirituality and god and a movement towards materialism and secularism by turning away from allah or god if you want to say in english they can't now ground these things in any objective way ठीक है जैसे हमने कहा थे कि वो फिर कहते हैं जो पाकिस्तान यूज़ कह रहे हैं आजकल के मकसद तो मैंने खुद बनाना है अपना hmm. मैंने खुद ढूंढना है तो दैट्स द पोजीशन यू लेफ्ट विद एग्जिस्टेंशलिस्ट फिलोसफर्स देखेंगे नीचे ले लें कैमू ले लें जॉन पोल सार्ट ले लें सब फंडामेंटली एक ही चीज़ कह रहे थे कि अपना मकसद खुद ढूंढो अपना मकसद खुद बनाओ पाकिस्तानी यूज़ मैंने नोटिस किया दे क्वाइट वेल रेड Right. So I can see the influence trickling in from there. Okay. You know, those philosophies and ideologies. Uh. But that's problematic as well. क्योंकि आप कह सकते हैं हाँ मेरे मेरे मैंने मकसद अपना खुद ढूंढना है जिंदगी का लेकिन वो आप एक बनावटी चीज है यू मेकिंग अप ठीक है इट्स लाइक यू नो किड्स प्ले ड्रेस अप यू नो ड्रेसिंग अप लाइक डॉक्टर ड्रेसिंग अप पुलिस मैन ब्लव ब्रदर डॉक्टर बट वॉज प्लेइंग इन एक्टिंग स्पेसिफिक रोल यू नो एंड इज रेडी इन द रोल इट सेल्फ माशा Uh, he's showing us videos on the way. I don't know if you want to mention it. I'll leave it to him. <laughs> you, have to know. you have to know. You can give context if you want. Somebody is uh, somebody is watching. They're going to think it's much worse than yeah, actually. I think Hamza shared a tweet already yeah. with you. I was just playing with some guns in uh, in the US. Okay, it's completely. And he was having there. fun, mashallah. Yeah. So you know, a lot of it was fun. Texas. Huh. Yeah, mashallah. Videos coming soon. But the point yeah. the point was that people it's like making things up. Right. To so saying uh, you know my purpose is to be a doctor and an engineer. You're making it up. Mm. You weren't born with a little you know cheat sheet in your pocket or a little manual that told you that. So you're making it up. That's what you're doing. And the issue with that is you know you're making it up. In other words you know you're lying to yourself. Right. Okay? Mm. And at some point you're going to realize that. 
you know and normally what are the type of purpose people give themselves good things yeah so maybe someone would say yeah good things someone would like, say that you know my uh, my purpose of life is to be a chief executive of a multinational company ah, see, right. or, or a doctor engineer a doctor charity engineer. work yeah it's not actually a bad thing though i mean it's like having a vision right you should still have a vision yeah. in life but the problem the problem comes when that that's all there is like, exactly it's not uh, linked nothing, to your fundamental yeah. purpose yeah which is to mm. worship allah Um, and all these amazing things can be, should be linked yeah. to that fundamental purpose to worship allah now so what are some of the some of the things or the drawbacks uh, um, you know i'm going to push this talk a little forward if someone says that you know my primary purpose is to become a um, be- best entrepreneur okay or my purpose of life is to be better than elon musk in terms of the innovation Uh, uh what are the downsides uh, if he fails to meet that purpose what is going to be the repercussion of that for that individual doctor kartimona you want to join no, i mean the thing is i think if we had a society filled with people that had ha- high ambitions and aspirations yeah. that would be a good thing but what we're seeing instead is generations of young people just without any purpose any motivation huh. um because i mean this is their motivation just becomes which link you can philosophize it further and say you know it's just to uh, maximize pleasure and minimize pain uh. and then you have kind of in today's society you know you get hungry you can order an uber eats yeah. you you want you desire something you can amazon prime next day or same day delivery <laughs> all all manner of desires can be fulfilled you know at at the at the tap of a button yeah and you just have a generation of people with no motivation to do anything with their lives right and i think the issue with i would say from my perspective uh, why so many the uh, pakistani kind of flavors of nihilism uh, i wouldn't even go so much as looking at the philosophy and reasoning uh, the, uh, or or looking at the philosoph- philosophical angle because i believe uh, one of the our authors at islam tunisia he wrote a very good article he called it um, there's two parts on um, he coined a term called farangism uh, right? and he says these types of things like atheism spreading and so forth they're not theological or philosophical issues they're civilizational issues mm. uh, what we're actually seeing is a parody of certain elements of western culture uh, we're seeing an imitation we're not seeing and and we if if you're you know the, the whole thing of if you're a, if you're a hammer all you see is nails if you're an expert in you know nihilism from a philosophical angle you're going to look at some behavior and say that's textbook nihilism mm-hmm. yeah. yeah but it doesn't mean that person is coming at it from that perspective that okay. person is just imitating whom he or she sees as a successful superior yeah. master race right. that's why i think it's a civilizational issue it's just a parody a a cheap imitation uh. of what they perceive from soft power some from you know uh, uh, the 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 projection by ngos and hollywood and all types of kind of brainwashing techniques the 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 pushing of secular modernity mm. as you know the the pinnacle of human progress and and enlightenment and, and evolution and you know this is this is what the the end of history looks like this is what the 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 the, the prime human being looks like you know we went from from a single cell organism to the 21st century american male Mm. you know <laughs> that 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 kind of that that image in people's yeah. minds so they want to they imitate they they feel weak they feel inferior and they want to imitate so how do they imitate i want to be like those people on on tv you know they uh and culture is a huge 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 part of that you know um they they've they've seen very book, important book uh, a good book by uh, Susan Sue Palmer on called toxic childhood right. she did research where she just watched just two weeks of nickelodeon you know children's tv from a, a kind of american production company and stuff um american channels she 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 identified certain themes recurring themes right like the parents are always like uh, the villain or the protagonist no the antagonist or to the protagonist the the the, the hero the Uh, you know the 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 child wants to get his way or her way and the parents are getting in the way you know these types of themes and motifs and kind of uh, uh, repeated things so this this has an impact on 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 shaping you know a nation shaping those people who grew up watching nickelodeon on those people who grew up watching friends or 
whatever kind of or now maybe TikTok is going to change the thing uh, change yeah. Imran Imran uh, can I can I say or it, will this be a good argument that if you have to assign yourself a purpose in life anyone can assign a wrong purpose for himself that could be detrimental to the other people of the society so for instance if someone says that you know my purpose i'm i'm very sadistic and my purpose of life should be killing as many people as i want yeah. mm. right so this is going to be detrimental for the entire society and right so is, is do, do you believe with this uh, um uh, this this argument um, that you know if someone has to assign himself his own purpose yeah and then he can go in any direction uh, regardless of uh, you know what the utilitarian uh, society need, is in need of yeah that can happen because you know uh, you're pretty much free to do whatever you want yes right so you can assign your own purpose this yeah. is what people are encouraged to do yeah mm-hmm. right to make you after the enlightenment to create your own purpose for yourself and it's, you know it's very reasonable to say someone who's maybe not fully there mentally uh-huh. uh can assign themselves something a very ambitious that they consider ambitious yeah. but it's Benjamin Netanyahu uh, someone yeah. is inspired by Hitler yeah, yeah. yeah. or or so, uh, someone and the cult- is. you know the cultural point is very powerful because especially in Pakistan if you look at it there's definitely you can't hide, deny this there is that that cultural influence you know and that mm-hmm. cultural problem becomes the existential problem because once they culturally adopt some of these ideas they may not call them philosophical yeah because they they take you on a popular level right mm-hmm. oh yeah i'm an atheist yaar or i'm a liberal yaar or i'm okay. i'm secular they say that they act it, they enjoy it probably right they have fun with it on university campuses but eventually you know whatever you repeat becomes what's embedded mm-hmm. in your mind mm-hmm. and they they eventually do stop believing in god and when they do do that then eventually they do run into the problem of you know what i don't know what i'm doing here who am i If there's uh-huh. no god and everything is an accident and i'm an accident and my therefore my life doesn't mean anything mm-hmm. and therefore why don't you know i do what some of these existential philosophers did you know commit suicide or you know consider that uh-huh. you know so it, it could really be a problem But going back to your point absolutely someone now with that moral freedom yes right we, again no god no objective morality uh-huh. so subjective considering that framework and considering the fact that now you are in charge you're in the driving seat you're mm-hmm. playing god you know you're going to create your own purpose someone with the with the right or wrong mindset can easily run away with this and and we do see examples mm. of this every now and now and then you know some crazy man that's that's made a life goal to you know mm. go kill some children in some school and mm. they think what they're doing is good i mean are we conflating purpose with meaning here so purpose uh, as far as i understand yeah. what you mentioned about nihilism it's it's meaningless meaninglessness yeah Is that the same as that? could you yeah is it the same as having a purpose not no purpose yeah so no so you can you can the way they normally differentiate is is the meaning of life and yeah. the meaning in life okay right so the meaning in life mm. is what most people academics want to touch and discuss because right. that's the easy one mm. you know what's the meaning in my life okay i can think about that right you know i can come up with that yeah. um you know i can give myself something mm. you know a good purpose And again how do they define good uh, without god yeah. that's another problem right uh, but they can do that mm. but the meaning of life why do i exist in the first place that that's the problematic one you know that they can't address you can call mm. it purpose you know sometimes they use these terms interchangeably what's the purpose of your life what's the meaning of your life okay mm-hmm. and uh, right now what we have discussed right now is ke in our society mein meaninglessness mainly aa raha because of the cultural invasion right which is coming from the west right and the the channels could be netflix it could be tv series it could be novels right the books that we are studying and then in our society may call be cheez aa rahi hai that we have to maximize pleasure right uh, let it be lust vulgarity uh, pornography objectification of women whatever it might be mm. uh, to a level that you know uh, people go drug addicts uh, they uh, start drinking stuff like that uh, which is again a very interesting concept ke ye jo puri tarike aa rahe hain whatever is coming from the western society originally in 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 the in the youth of pakistan how do we address this issue so we all know that there is an issue right but what's the solution no one talks wants to talk about it or well, maybe a solution is bringing back meaning <laughs> yeah right so uh, are they also, both it's also to one it's also um uh intimately linked with addiction as well yeah. because mm-hmm. what's the difference between 
um, somebody's grandmother who's who has morphine for a hip replacement mm. and so a junkie who just completely you know addicted to morphine or heroin or some kind of opiates uh, in a debilitating way um this is what I mean what we know a lot more about addiction the the, the science behind addiction uh, compared to when many drug laws and many you know um societies form and outlawed these these substances it's not the fact that simply taking a substance makes you addicted for life it's yeah. actually just to, to long story short it's having nothing to do in the morning when you wake up you have no purpose mm. you've got no way to go you're you you feel um that the you, you there's no reason to get out of bed that's when that you know taking those substances that have the ability to be addictive mm. that's when they really take over someone's life and and lead them down to like you said drug addict, drug drug addicts and so forth so around if someone in our you know viewers are watching this this show this podcast of ours and he usko ye lagta hai ki yaar this is something um, i'm suffering from this disease of nihilism right i don't find any meaning what is the practical tip that you would want to share with that particular person uh, what is the road map for him to get out of this so, disease okay. so the first thing is to realize a fundamental point which is without allah you are never going to find true meaning your okay. ultimate meaning okay the best you can do is make things up yeah go with something you believe is good mm. and that may satisfy you mm. right. right you may do some good in the world you know people may benefit but eventually you're going to get to the point you're going to question yourself again as you know why am i doing this what's the motivation like dr uh, salman was saying what what drives me because remember it's always easier for the human to do what's bad then what's good yeah. cuz good things are difficult to do mm. in most cases right mm. now if you give yourself a good goal a good purpose without god yeah you're going to burn out eventually mm. cuz there's no under there's nothing underpinning that that drive you know mm. there's no there's no all that presses down on the person mm. there's no higher objective yeah it's just they're doing it cuz they'll give it for themselves so you know that's one problem What was your question again bro sorry for, so I, my question was that how, just get get out out how, do you, how do you get out of it yeah so mm-hmm. f- first thing is realize that without allah it's impossible to get out mm-hmm. second says in the quran wala takunu kalladhina nasallaha fa ansahum anfusahum don't be like those who forgot, forgot allah. allah so allah made them forget themselves that's such a powerful I, and to know allah you need to understand who allah is right I have the knowledge mm-hmm. about allah himself yeah. as well yeah and and know allah again see if you look at no the, the concept of knowledge today from a secular perspective it's almost it knowledge is seen as information right right it's like you read certain things you learn you know you internalize information mm-hmm. right it's just content but it's like you, you know of someone and you know someone mm-hmm. right so when we say know allah it's important for people to realize there's two parts to this mm-hmm. right one is yes learn about allah you know learn aqida read the quran see what allah tells us about himself the second part is get to know allah so build that relationship with allah mm-hmm. right you know because if that's missing you know that knowledge is only going to get you so far mm. if you don't implement it right so for example someone that okay learns say aqida and studies it and and knows allah's names and attributes and just learns it just as information in their mind if you you know down the line say they go through a trial or tribulation in their life a hardship mm. Mm. yeah if they haven't built a relationship with allah they're not going to be grounded yeah you know so you need to build that relationship upon that knowledge mm. so you have to get to know Allah i think that's key yeah and then obviously build in uh, the, those mm. key core practices that we've been taught mm. which, you know the salah being one of the fundamental things yeah. but again understand what the salah is you know it's mm. not just a set of movements and a set mm. of things you recite though those are the pillars yeah mm. do those things but mm. the deeper meaning the deeper sort of thing we need to get as well is that connection with Allah mm. realize you're standing in front of Allah yeah. you're speaking to Allah You know Allah is telling you things when you read the mm-hmm. Quran in the salah and and have that khushu in in the salah which is missing in most cases yeah. mm-hmm. you know that's how you're going to build that relationship with Allah I think it's also very important to find the right company you yeah. know because yeah. people external to you um, you are being programmed all the time so jo aap kirt kirt ke log hote hain what kind of uh, people are they and they are going to have the most influence on you mm. so finding the right company and the good company is also very important mm. and if we discuss about um, someone or a teenager uh, like me playing a devil's role that imran what's wrong with me maximizing my player 
why don't you want me to maximize my player? How are you going to address that? We do want you to maximize the player. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're telling you yeah, there's a way to do that. Yeah, what? Oh, including what, in the what, hero. What's wrong for, for me to minimize my pain? Yeah. What's wrong? What's wrong with that? Oh, well, we need to get into people's minds that following the Sharia, following Islam, following divine guidance yeah. is the path to maximizing pleasure and minimizing pain. Love. But but okay. it's maximizing pleasure and minimizing pain within a framework. Yeah. Even right. even if you even in this dunya, mm. yeah, what the usuli they say one of the ways of looking at a uh, what is haram is that there's more mafsada, there's more harm than benefit in it. Yes, and one of the ways of looking at something which is obligatory, yeah, is there's more benefit than there is harm. Mm. The both paths are difficult. Yeah, okay, both paths. Allah said, "Wa hadayna hun najdain." We 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 guided man with regard with respect to two paths. We need yeah. to get this in people's heads. Mm. Whatever path you take, there's difficulty. Difficult life is toil. Yeah, this life is going to have difficulty. Mm. The 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 wrong path might be uh, shallow to begin with, but it gets mm. really steep later yeah. on. Mm. But the r- right path, mm. it might be a bit steep earlier on, but it leads to ease. It yeah. leads to more ease. It's like a person, you know, um, going through hardship in a gym or something, training right. a muscle. Yeah. That person, you might say, well, what do you think? What, you know, how is that going uh, to, what's the point of that? Yeah. Yeah. But what's the point of that? <laughs> mm. What's the point of that? Why don't you just, uh, you know, relax? Do you think that person will have an easier time carrying a load or a more difficult time? Yeah. So Allah wants ease for us. Allah yeah. want, doesn't want uh difficulty and hardship so that's what someone might say but what yeah. it's, it's hard it's difficult uh, waking up for fajr in the morning right but that conditioning yourself mm. to deal with that difficulty leads to ease yeah we need to get this in people's mm. heads as like well like they say the pain of discipline is better than the pain of regret yeah absolutely and, uh, you know even, uh, even if sorry to interrupt even if you just look at the pleasure and the pain on in the micro instant yeah okay these things are um subjective mm. okay a friend of mine he said one of the <laughs> things that uh, Allah guided him to Islam and one of the things that um he had a difficulty doing uh, initially was giving up you know smoking uh, yeah. cannabis and stuff mm. he said the thing that clicked in my head was i actually felt i realized i felt the same amount of happiness oh. uh as i would from smoking a joint mm. Uh, when I would take my little sister to the park to play, yeah, yeah, just that getting that in your head because these these dopamine levels, oxytocin Oxytocin. or whatever, yeah, uh, these levels do go up when you do other things that are more wholesome and that Mm. that, you know give you that subjective dopamine Mm. experience, that subjective reward. So even even in the micro level, even in the instant, yeah, you can in actually enjoy, yeah. Okay, so doing basically enjoying um, all the halal avenues of life. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that, mm-hmm. right? Um, okay, and um, um, you know, one of the hadiths that comes in my mind is that uh, this world is a prison for a believer mm. and a paradise for a non-Muslim, right? So if you let go, um, you, you know, if if you consider that the only purpose of my life, my life ka pura jo maqsad hai, wo bas hai ki I have to maximize my player, then it could be also at someone's cost, you know, someone might feel pleased raping someone, mm-hmm. right? This could be also detrimental to the society as a whole that we exist. Uh, what are your last two cents for the youth of Pakistan? Just firstly to realize that you have the truth. Yeah. That Allah has, you have the final revelation. You have the words of Allah mm. that are preserved. We don't have the same problems as the Christians did. Yeah. You know, the theology evolved significantly over the years. Even the concept of God changed, you know, to the point where it was irrational. Mm. Just didn't make sense to the fitra or the, the intellect. Mm. Um, we have everything preserved and Islam is in line with the fitra, yeah. the natural, natural state of man. And like Dr. said, you know, the, that sometimes you have to do things that are difficult. Yes. Yeah. And, and, yeah, and, and it'll make your life easy. Exactly. Right. But, but the thing is, most people today, youth, the youth today, they've been, they like things easy. Yeah. Yeah. And for the men, especially, mm. yeah, the, the guys, this is a big problem because me, the man psychology, you know, if you really look at it, men have to struggle. If they really want to find satisfaction. Yes. What you see is when they really put in the work and do something challenging and difficult, but yeah. what's meaningful at the same yes. time. True. That's when they get the maximum level of joy and pleasure. Yeah. Right. But the way we're conditioned today is yeah. don't do what's difficult. Don't yeah. do what's challenging. Do what's easy. Yeah. 
Mm. You know, that's why a lot of youth are just playing video games, mm. taking drugs, watching porn, and, you know, repeating that, rinse and repeat, basically. Right. They don't even want to work these yeah. days. Yeah, if they can avoid it, they'll avoid it. Yeah. yeah. That's why but, charlatans like Jordan Peterson are becoming, you know, modern day uh, exactly. icons. He, and, he put his finger on the pulse, yeah, right? He, yeah. he was clever from one perspective because yeah. he, he saw the problem. But the thing is, Islam, you, you, it gives you a system which is based on the truth. Yeah. You know, so you're not guessing anymore. Mm. You know, it's from Allah, the one that knows all. It's not from another human being, a, a Pearson or a Nietzsche, whoever, right. you know, who's fallible. Uh. This is from the creator of the heavens and the mm. earth that wants best for you, knows best what's yeah. best for you. He's the all knowing. Mm. So yes, it's going to be difficult. Yes, something's going to be challenging. You know, yes, giving up on some of your desires slowly over time. You know, you're not supposed to overnight. No one's expecting yeah. that from you. No one's perfect. It's going to be difficult. But realize that going through that hardship is what's going to make your life mm. meaningful mm. and give your life purpose as well in a way. Yeah. Mm. So engage in that struggle, you know, if you want a fulfilling life. Otherwise, you'll keep doing the same old stuff that's easy, but it's like stale water. Yeah. You know, it, it becomes putrid, you know. Mm. So, and that's, and you will suffer because of that. You know, you will mm. suffer, you will see in your own life. So, to, to have the courage to make the decision and say, you know what? I've been doing X, Y, and Z. I've been turning away from Islam. I haven't been reading the Quran. I've turned away from Allah. Recognize the problem first yeah. and then have the courage to do something about it, mm. right? Have the, I'm not going to say the word, but have the, you know, in you to do something about it. Yeah. You know, testosterone levels have, have, have been dropping as well. If you look mm. at the, the levels of testosterone mm. today, uh, the studies that are showing, the, you know, men's testosterone levels in the age 20 and 30s, yeah. compared to even 10 years ago, mm. They have declined, yeah. right? And the interesting thing about testosterone is, is, is a dual type of relationship. So your activity also dictates how your levels are. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So it's not just one way that your levels are low, so therefore you're not very active. You're you know. sounding the Muslim and you're great. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm just, but th these are, these are things that are the realities of Yeah, so yeah. you need to fix up. You need to fix up with your J-E-E. Okay. Top G. Who's that? Okay. Uh, and, uh, okay. So, so um, and. Top uh, uh, Salman Bhai, you being uh, the most eldest of all, all three of us, okay. and you being the father. Like that, the father. Like father so he looks like the, the youngest, Mashallah. <laughs> you, you being like uh, the father, uh, what would you advise to mm -hmm. the parents? You know, uh, in, in particularly the Pakistani society, yeah. when they have so much cultural invasion coming in. Be have some self esteem. Be proud of what you have. This this country was built upon an idea, not upon an, a, a race or an ethnicity. Mm. Is is will Pakistan go? Matlab kya? La ilaha illallah. Yeah, it's built upon an idea, and um, teach your children to have the fortitude to think critically. Mm. It's not part of. It's not someone who is who is confident in their skin, has good self esteem, uh, and who is critically thinking to just imitate another people, right? Mm. Uh, imitate another uh, so called civilization, let alone Western culture. Right. Mm. You, it, if anyone wants to see the fruits of nihilism, the fruits of um, the, the popular culture mm. in the West, don't look on TV. Don't look at the the highlight reel. Yeah, highlights reel that they they they're showing you. Go, come, come and visit, mm. and come to Leicester Square on a Friday night. Mm, come to an A and E department and in, in, in the emergency department in hospitals. Come to a police station. Yeah. See the tamasha. Mm. You know, with your own eyes. See the amount of. Uh, the number of children in poverty in one of the richest countries in the world. Mm. See the number of children in the care system. See there's the pointless amounts of violence. And you know, I've, I've heard a lot that, you know, what happens uh, near the bar uh, when uh, the kind of people that are, you know, uh, sleeping around or mm. in, in a very disgusting way. Yeah. Uh, I would like to sum up with someone very close to me used to say that um, for Pakistanis, uh, being progressive means ke kapre utar dor music laga lo, mm. <laughs> right? Uh, on the other hand, what it uh, what we really need to think about is ke humara infrastructure kitna acha ho raha hai, humari education kitni achi ho raha health kitni achi ho raha hai. Mm. So a lot of us uh, are in this delusion ke agar hum kapre chote se chote pen lenge, music laga lenge mm. gaadi mein, agar thodi si drag race kar lenge, so that's being progressive. Mm. Jazakallah khair for your time. Okay. Uh, thank okay. you Imran for being over here. Okay. No and if you have to, you know, learn more about Nile 
journalism and other stuff uh, do watch uh, sapiens institute uh, please t- tell tell audience something about sapiens really yeah much of sapiens institute you know the one of the main objectives is to help develop leaders uh, you know who are defending islam intellectually yeah uh, and uh, there's a lot of co- amazing courses online on yeah. the sapiens institute website done by various different sheikh fads done many sure. we had external speakers that have come and done many courses mashallah um uh, you know so definitely check the website out and it's really to help shape that muslim mind basically yeah. in today and give them the confidence yeah. like dr salman is talking about you know have have pride you know in what allah has given you yeah. don't just throw that away and run after the you know the nonsense that's going yeah. out going on in the west at the moment you know yeah. Uh, and yeah uh, just just check that out inshallah so there's a lot of good work coming out inshallah uh, sapiensinstitute.org is mm-hmm. the site inshallah i remember um uh a parable that one of the mashayikh gave sheikh abdullah shanqiti when he came to the uk he said the muslim umma is like a lion who the west has told it's a goat because it's got a bit of a <laughs> beard yeah? yeah so it's thinking thinking of itself as a goat uh. and the western world western nations are a goat that's telling everyone it's a lion yeah we need the lion to wake up to being to <laughs> knowing it's a lion and taking its place as leading people kuntum khairumatin ukhrijat lin nas ya allah sent this ummah to lead mankind to be in the service of mankind to to do the job of the prophets and the messengers so this is a duty we all have so we need to wake up this ummah not you know th- going around thinking it's a billy goat but realizing it's a lion and 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 wake up this lion to 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 lead once again inshallah and so. you know if you want to, uh, to wake up as a lion you need to visit islam 21 day <laughs> <laughs> right and sapiens and sapiens and, right. and, sapiens. Mm-hmm. and d- tell me a little more about islam 21 islam 21 see our vision is to see every muslim confident and impacting the world and our the way we do it is through transformation of digital content so much of this like nothing else assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh